this video I'm going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to be taking a look at the integral of sine x to the fifth power dx. We will be using the common Pythagorean identity of sine squared x plus cosine x squared x equals 1. We're going to solve that and remember that we can as long as we can get this into a form of a sine squared x, then we're going to be able to do a substitution there that's going to allow us to probably work out a, a nice little u substitution. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into a multiple of sine squared x times um, of sine x. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to split this into a sine to the fourth x times a sine x dx. Now, since this is a multiple of that, I can use my laws of exponents and I can say sine squared x squared is going to give me this sine to the fourth power. So then I'm going to have a sine squared x squared and then that's going to allow me to do this substitution of a 1 minus cosine squared x for this right in here. So we're going to do that substitution. We'll have a 1 minus cosine squared x quantity squared times the sine x dx. Okay, now at this point, hopefully you can see that this is going to uh, have the inside function of cosine x. This is a cosine x times cosine x right there, cosine x squared. So I'm going to let my u be cosine x. So over here we'll do let u equal cosine x. Taking the derivative there will be du and then minus sine x dx and then going ahead and solving for that dx we'll have a du over a minus sine x equaling that dx. Okay, now from there we can come back in and we can substitute in our u value here. So we'll have the integral of 1 minus u squared, quantity squared, and then changing um, the dx to what it equals. We'll have that sine x that's still there, and then the du over a minus sine x. All right, what that's going to allow me to do then is cross out those sine x's and take that negative and pull it out in front. So then I'm going to have a negative, the integral of 1 minus u squared quantity squared and du. Now at this point, this pretty much is just a straight polynomial. I've got a binomial here being squared, so the easiest way to work this out is just to go ahead and foil that out. So then we'll have a negative integral. Foiling that out, we'll have a 1 minus 2u squared. Squaring the last one there, we'll have a plus u to the fourth, and then du. All right, from there, this is a straight integration here at this point. We'll have a negative out in front. Integrating a 1 with a du will give us a u. Integrating here, we'll add 1, which will give us a 3, so that'll be a minus 2 thirds u to the third. Adding one there will give us a 5, so a 1 fifth u to the fifth. And then now we can add that plus c. All right, at this point, um, we're going to go through and change all the signs because we need to get rid of that negative right there. So we'll have a negative u. That will become a plus 2 thirds u to the third. That will be a minus 1 fifth u to the fifth and then replacing the u with what we originally said it's going to be. So we'll have a minus cosine x plus a two-thirds cosine x to the third power minus a one-fifth cosine x to the fifth power and then plus c. So again, pretty straightforward after you make that initial substitution there, understanding how to break that up so that you can get it to a sine squared x so that you can do this substitution. Uh, definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends so that they can benefit too, and subscribe to the channel please. Thanks!